trees, wonderful, glorious, and somewhat ironically cardboard manufactured trees. Few games demand your attention like Blue Orange Games' Photosynthesis, a game all about the life cycle of trees in a forest. The core conceit is that players each represent a species of trees, spending light to cast and grow seeds into trees, into big trees, into monstrous trees, and eventually end their life cycle claiming points based on the richness of their soil, or in practical speak closer to the center of the board. But the moment of brilliance comes from how you gain light to spend. Spend. Every round, the sun rotates to a new position, casting its bounty upon all trees tall enough to taste it, but trees also cast shadows away from the light upon those of equal or lesser size. And as trees grow, so too does the length of their shadow. If elegance is defined as a game behaving as expected based on some intrinsic understanding by the player, this is it, the moment of understanding that comes when rotating the sun and collecting light on turn two is such a potent aha moment of elation that just makes you want to play the game more. In one fell swoop, you understand everything you need to know about what this game wants to say, and it feels really, really good. So you start thinking about strategy, which is all about careful placement, where you place or grow trees to limit shadows cast upon you and hopefully cast upon others. Photosynthesis is surprisingly cutthroat for such a peaceful theme, but in a way it mirrors the cold and often brutal machinations of the natural world. Over the course of 18 rounds, or three full rotations of the sun, players populate and expand, creating a dense network of trees in various positions and sizes. But as a product of these rotations, players tend to suffer through booms and busts, with certain rounds casting light favorably upon their trees, reaping gobs of light, but in a turn or two collecting just a paltry sum. This stuttered pacing is most keenly felt in a two-player game, but isn't unusual at any player count, and and that isn't the only blemish on this beauty of a game. The game doesn't have any sort of scaling to accommodate different player counts. No matter what, the sun rotates, players gain light, then each in turn takes as many actions as they'd like. There will still be the same amount of rounds, making four players always seem to drag out longer than the narrow rule set deserves. And at two players, it's easy, especially for a more experienced player, to get the upper hand and much more frequently dominate, and by contrast, decimate energy production. But that hasn't stopped me from having fun. The game has a queer duality between an aggressive struggle for survival and a harmonious zen. The level of potent non-combative interaction is refreshing, but the tending of your arbor garden feels wonderfully satisfying, and the majesty of watching this diverse forest full of verdant life explode over the course of the game is unparalleled. Ultimately, Photosynthesis comes across as an okay game with jaw-dropping presentation and an extremely elegant core mechanic that conveys such rich thematic and mechanical understanding well deserving of at least one play, though for many people that'll probably be enough. If you enjoyed this video, we have all kinds of other reviews, interviews, and recommendations via writing, podcasts, and video here on our channel and website CardboardHerald.com. Our content is audience supported, so if you want to show your support, please visit our Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Cardboard Herald.